We made it to the summary of section. We're really going to briefly go over these topics. All right. We saw what it meant by an anatomy and an anatomy of a secure connection. Okay, what does that mean? It means that hey, don't have open authentication. Have at least a password on there. Okay, because normally everything's just wide open. Nobody does anything to it. Dangerous. Don't do that. Now you do have wireless client authentication methods like WEP. Okay, WPA, WPA2. All right, we have AES, a, uh, TKIP, all that stuff. But again, remember, Web and TKIP have been deprecated, deprecated, okay? We only use WPA, WPA2, all right? And we use AES as well. As far as for integrity methods, you know we have MIC, all right, uh, which was part of the TKIP. But there's also other things that we can use for integrity methods to make sure that our data does not get corrupted on its way out. That's where we have the EAPS and the TLS tunnels. All right. So things, uh, nobody can get in there and try to mess things up. And then you saw how we configured a wireless network using a radius server. It was pretty simple. You know, telling the wireless router, pointing it to the radius server in a particular port, and then adding the names, telling the radius, hey, this is your wireless, this is your client, which is the wireless router, this is the IP, okay? And we're your radius server, cool, and you're using this port. And then we add the names of the people that are allowed, okay, username and password, that they can go ahead and use that wireless. So using this is extremely, it's not as difficult as you may think, but it's extremely important that you do especially in an enterprise network. See everybody in the next.